to be joined by both of you today and uh, we'll start off with what an incredible game we enjoyed today. Uh, how were your emotions throughout the 90 minutes? I think from a, a manager's point of view it's um, it's not great for the, you know, could put you in a box early. Um, but to, to come away with the result at the end, you know, we're over the moon with that and I just think again it shows you the spirit we've got in this camp this year. Yeah, I think um, from, our, from my point of view it was great and the guys put on a good performance, there was a good crowd today. And we chose to put the game on in Boxing Day um, because we felt it would be better for, for him from a crowd perspective. But there was a great atmosphere in the game. I mean, fair play to Clyde. They, they made a good game of it, and I thought it was a great atmosphere. And they goes, you could sense it in the crowd, and, and you know, you just could sense it. There was something happening. We about ten minutes to go. You thought, we'll read the script here. We've been here before last week, so uh, yeah, it's torture. I'm sorry, torture. <laughs> uh, Gary, uh, that's. Uh Fourth are going to be top of the league uh, as we go into 2017. You've got to be proud of the boys so far this season. Yeah, you know, real proud of the guys of you know the, the hard work they're putting in, you know, um, and the effort. You know, it's, it's, they're getting the rewards on a Saturday. Um, as you say, we're going into 2017 now, top of the top of the league, clear by seven points. You know, and for all the hard work they've put in up until up until now, um, it's vitally important that we we've got to continue that. You know in 2017 until May, um, but um, you know, also credit to them because we could only set them up and organise them, it's these guys that go and do the real physical hard work on the park, you know, and um, as, as you say this year they've done absolutely fantastic and, and long may that continue. And as we go into 2017 and transfer window, have you got any ideas of any uh, any players coming in? Or? Well you see the minute we've got a good squad here, um, you know if there's anybody that comes about and, They'll enhance our squad and, you know, and make us better, yeah, we'll have a look. Um, obviously there's guys in there as well, you know, who maybe aren't playing regular, um, that, you know, they might be coming to me and maybe want to go elsewhere and play regular first team football. Um, you know, that, that's just the nature of football for you. Um, that's not saying that anything will be done, that's not saying anybody will be moving on, and that's not saying anybody will be coming in because at the minute, you know, it's a, um, we're happy with what we've got. Um, and, you know, there will only be somebody that's better, that will make us better, that will be coming into this football club. And as you said, the atmosphere was incredible, which it was today. And that was one of sort of the targets at the beginning of the season was to improve attendances, and hence the formation of backs of the brown things. Do you think attendances have been up, and there's been more interest in for this season? <coughs> um, yeah, I, I make a point of just checking the attendances on the Sunday I go round and look at all the other league games in our division and the division above, and quite often, you know. We're, Right, the second or sometimes the best attended game of, of the weekend in the lower the lower two leagues. So that's that's reassuring um, from from you know that's quite a nice thing that we've been able to do that. But that's largely down to how you know, the players that Gary signed and the squad that he's put together. And, um, you know, I spoke to Neil at the end of last season um, uh, down at Clifton Hill, and we discussed you know just what we'd have to do to change our fortunes uh, next season. And you can see that you know Gary's. You know, worked hard through the summer and uh, put together a good score of players, and um, that's that's certainly two weeks in a row where we've dug something out that just probably last season it would have probably gone against us to be honest, really, and uh, that's 
nothing against the guys we had last season. It was just that was just what was happening to us, to be honest with you. So, um, so yeah, there's a real buzz around the club, and um, it's back to what it should be. And uh, everybody's just um, just looking forward to, to every game, and even with 10, 15 minutes to go. I mean, I, I'm just optimistic. I always think we're going to get something. Always expect us to get something, to be honest with you. So, yeah. no, a good atmosphere about the place. Excellent. And uh, just a final question: Is there anything else you'd like to say to either the fans or the club? Oh, just from a manager's point of view, I, I hope they've had a, a real nice Christmas and I hope they're going to have a, you know, a great 2017. Um, and as I've said in the programme, I would like to thank them for the support, you know, for the first half of this season, and you know, hopefully that will continue and, and maybe get even better um, as we progress into, you know, the, um, the second half of the season in 2017. Um, I would just like to say thanks again for your support. Oh, I would say just pretty much echo what, what Gary said. Uh, hopefully everybody had a good Christmas and that should top it off nicely. We're hoping to put a bus on to go up to Elgin next week and you know, we're still looking for a few names so if you were um, if you were thinking about it after that performance you should get your name in. Um, and you know, it would be good to take a good crowd up there. The fans uh, can play a, a real big part in the second half of the season. I know the players respond to it, we all respond to it. Uh, so I just wish everybody you know, all the best for the forthcoming year and hopefully we'll con continue the success. And um, thank you very much for the interview today. Thanks, thanks guys. Cheers. Thanks, boys. Cheers. 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 Thank you. Uh, Cheers. Uh, thanks for joining me, Martin, and uh, congratulations on your goal today. You must be proud. That was a great um, one-two in the, um, before you shot. Aye. Uh, I, would, uh, I would say it was rolling back the years, but I've never had any pace, so I don't know where that came from, but that was a good way to pass for Coxie. And to be fair, I've, just, I've taken it early in the goal. is not time to get down to it, so... I'll take any goal that comes now with this. <laughs> <laughs> and um, how, I mean, that's 4-3 today, it was 4-3 against Cam Beath and five goals against Anne. I mean, we've got, we're certainly going forward scoring plenty of goals and uh, the boys must be really gelling well. Yeah, uh, we've, got, uh, we've got great pace going forward, good football players up the, the front end of the park. Um, I'm not sure the gaffer could take a 4-3 every week, but, you know, maybe the 5-1 against Anne was fine because it was quite comfortable, but... No, um, I think we'll take a one up every day of the week, but um, it's good for the fans, games like that, but it's, it's not too great for us. We can't keep relying on scoring 4 and 5 every game, so um, aye, it is a positive, but we'll take a clean sheet every day of the week. And uh, last season was a bit hit and miss for you with injuries and other things, and you've been playing a lot this season, and you, how are you sort of feeling yourself? Are you match fit, you're excited for the rest of the I'm season? I'm feeling good, yeah. Once you get a run of games, you do, your, your fitness does pick up a bit, um, your sharpness, getting your eye back in a lot of you. Um, I think, with regards this season, the manager um, knows what suits me and he's got the team playing a way that, that suits me being in that position and kind of just holding everything together. And letting, like you say, the attack the players just, just go and play with them having the assurance knowing that, that I'm sitting there for them letting them go in and do what they want. So um, it's definitely suiting me and you know, long may continue. And so that's ten years at the club, and uh, you, you've had your meal. Um, anything else that's sort of happening in, the, in your tenth year, your, a decade at this club? Um, there'll be a couple of things coming up um, at the start of 2017. Um, I have to have a meeting with uh, my committee and we'll see what's happening. But we'll, we'll try and arrange a golf day, and, and obviously there'll be a game, but that'll maybe be towards the springtime because. I'm not expecting people to come out and watch me when it's absolutely <laughs> last month is outside, so we'll wait till the weather picks up a wee bit and, and organise something like that. But um, like I say, it's, it's an honour having a testimonial year, so um, all the events, don't get me wrong, they're great, but it's, it's just an absolute honour for myself to be given something like that. And uh, so we're, we're top of the table for for the new year, and uh, that surely will give the whole team confidence to press on for 2017, hopefully promotion. Definitely. Um, when you consider the position we were in last year, the pressure that came with that, it wasn't a nice pressure. Um, there's a lot of pressure on the top of the league because everybody wants to beat. We've been in positions, you want to beat the teams at the top of the league. Um, it's up to us to deal with that pressure, but um, we'll just look on to the Elgin game now, which is going to be a, a really tough game because like ourselves, at home they score a lot of goals, so they're a good, a good football inside. So it's up to us to, to work this week at how we're going to deal with that when we go up there. But it's a good position to be in. But there's never been a league one in this time of year. We'll wait till May comes and see what happens then. Well, thanks very much for your time, Martin, and once again, congratulations on your goal. Thank you, no problem. Yeah.